Thank you for tuning in to learn about how to develop, monitor, and control organizational budgets. Be sure to check out our other videos in this series. By the end of this video, you will understand the what, why, when, who, and how of developing, monitoring, and controlling budgets. Let's do a quick recap of some concepts that we have explored in previous videos. We know that managers act as liaison between an organization's senior leadership and its staff. They get things done by focusing on three things. Planning. Thinking ahead for their organization and being ready for what is yet to come. Directing. Implementing the plan and identifying specific needs and resources required to execute it. Controlling. Monitoring progress, staying on track, and fixing things when they break. But how do managers manage? Regardless of an organization's size, to operate successfully, all managers must plan. There are three types of plans. Strategic plans. These are long-term, high-level plans that address strategic priorities of an organization. Business plans. These are medium-term plans that serve as a roadmap that outlines how you will achieve your strategic priorities. Annual plans. These are short-term plans that focus on day-to-day -day operations, for example, finances, human resources, and communications. For the purpose of this video, our focus will be on annual plans. For a plan to be successful, it is ideal for managers to be involved at all stages of planning because they have to implement it. To implement annual plans successfully, most managers would follow some form of recurring schedule. This is called the annual planning cycle. The activities within an annual planning cycle can be broken down into four quarters, and each quarter can be further broken down into three months. In the first two quarters of the year, organizations are typically focused on reporting of activities for the previous year. In the third and fourth quarter, they develop plans for the upcoming year. Activities in the first quarter typically include closing the previous year, reporting activities to funders and investors, and conducting year-end reviews and audits. Building on quarter one, activities for the second quarter include reviewing results of the first quarter, preparing annual reports for ultimate beneficiaries, and mid-year operations reporting. In the third quarter, we start thinking about the next year. We still do our quarterly analysis, but the focus changes to thinking ahead. At the annual general meetings, we present results of the previous year, but also take feedback that gets incorporated into the planning frameworks for the upcoming year. In the final quarter, we put our minds to next year's plan by prioritizing needs, understanding revenues and preparing preliminary budgets, and confirming revenues, appropriating it, and preparing final budgets. Budgets represent the primary method of communicating agreed-upon objectives throughout the organization. They are short-term plans expressed in numbers. For budgets to be effective, it's imperative to have sound organizational structure, conduct thorough research and analysis of the internal and external environment, and get buy-ins of the budgeting process from all levels of management. Once adopted, a budget becomes an important basis for evaluating organizational performance. It promotes efficiency and serves as a deterrent from wasting and misusing organizational resources. If done right, budgets can have a significant impact on human behavior. By forcing managers to plan ahead, budgets create an early warning system for potential problems and facilitates various organizational activities. It helps people within an organization understand their role, works as a controlling and regulating mechanism, and establishes accountability. Earlier, we said that effective budgeting requires a sound organizational structure, thorough research and analysis, and approval at all levels of management. Now let's look at how to create meaningful budgets. The first step in the budgeting process is to determine who will be responsible for the creation of budgets. After establishing responsibility, strategic objectives, goals, historical performance, trends, and forecasts should be communicated to those who are responsible. Once budget guidelines are communicated to the relevant managers, they identify the limiting factors. This is most often money. After identifying limiting factors, Managers typically prepare the budgets, which is followed by budgets for other areas such as operating and capital expenses. The key to a successful budgeting process is coordination and making sure that everything is consistent and complementary. The final steps of the process involve preparing master budgets, which is usually the income statement, balance sheet, and cash budgets. It also involves communicating the results to leadership, senior management, and ultimate beneficiaries of the organization. Once budgets are approved, 
the process moves towards implementation and monitoring of performance. Budgets are implemented by respective managers. As time progresses, managers analyze what they had originally planned in comparison to what is happening in reality. The goal here is to take corrective actions where needed and use relevant information to inform future plans and budgets. This process is called budgetary control. Budgetary control means making sure that the actual on-the-ground efforts are aligned with the original plans and budgets. This is achieved by conducting variance analysis, a simple technique that compares budgeted financial results with actual. This exercise helps organizations understand potential problems and work toward fixing them. To make the process of budgetary control effective, it is crucial to involve all levels of management and be clear about who is responsible for what. By setting realistic targets, reviewing performance on a regular basis, and taking corrective actions, organizations can be extremely successful. We hope this video has been helpful in learning about developing, monitoring, and controlling budgets. Subscribe to our channel and find us on our socials for future tutorials. See you next time.